Hills Power Plant is a municipal owned power utility. Um, we burn, currently we burn coal as a primary fuel source and we burn what the city refers to as RDF, which stands for ref, refuse derived fuel, which is all the, or I shouldn't say all, but a majority of the county's waste. Some of the technologies that were used as part of the monitoring service are AMS, which is a valve monitoring service that we bought prior to my starting at the plant and my current uh, partner there, he had most of the infrastructure purchased, but he's never had, he never had had a chance to install it. I believe the greatest impact that the valve monitoring services had on shutdowns and turnarounds is we're now, we are now able to have parts online for valves that we know need addressed and we no longer have to tear down a valve simply based on time in service. The old way of doing it was every fifth year, regardless of if the valve was behaving poorly or not, you would open it up, see what it needed. If it needed nothing, put a new pack kit back in it and bolt it down. Well, that cost time and money to where now we can go based off of actual valve performance and see a history both beforehand and predictively what it's gonna behave like in the future. Some of the benefits that I've seen from being able to monitor over a period of time is you get to see how that valve reacts later in its life. When you test the valve initially, of course it's gonna operate wonderfully from the factory. And if you're only gonna periodically test it here and there, you're not gonna see really it's it's aging, where if you are able to look at a long span timeline, you start to see kind of the creep factors where certain signatures will start to drive up, like drive signal will creep up or friction will start changing, either more or less showing different wear factors. So it's over the distance that you're actually getting to see what needs to be done vice periodic checks that you might not catch the little things. One of the process problems we've been able to address through this valve service, most recently we had a feed water recirc valve that was not behaving right and we're having troubles addressing the issue. We didn't know what the core problem was and through the testing we received a report from one of the Fisher engineers that was able to actually pinpoint through the, the factors that he was looking at. He was ac actually able to give us two different choices of what to go look at, both being in the DVC. And as soon as we happened to be in a, a good chance or a good position, I was able to go out to the DVC in a, in a quiet environment since we were doing a, a short routine maintenance period and it was quiet in that area. And once I removed the cover from the DVC, you could physically hear a whistling from the, the relay positioner itself. And if you felt around it, you could actually feel the leak. So he was able to direct me right to the problem, which was a fast and easy fix considering we had parts on hand and it was a, a scheduled upgrade simply to, it needed it and it was a, to help facilitate the testing that we were doing but we were able to do it in a period that we were already down and it didn't prevent us from starting up or it didn't shut us down in a period that would have actually hampered something or took a pump out in the in the mix. I believe the single biggest value we're getting out of the service is the fact since we are a small municipal plant and we're already wearing multiple hats to cover many jobs that this is something that I can set up, have it ready, and know that if there's an issue, I'm gonna be notified without it failing beforehand. I don't have to have that route done every day at a certain time. I can actually go out and address other things that need done and know that that's always being looked at.